St. Patrick welcomes those who arrive for the annual Croch Patrick pilgrimage. At the foot of the holy mountain of West Ireland, as they and their forefathers have done since soon after Ireland's national saint made the difficult climb 1,500 years ago, they begin their pilgrimage. It's a wet, blowy day, but the harder the path, the greater the merit. Back in the mists of antiquity, the day of the pilgrimage and the order of it was set. There are three stations to be observed, and there is no easy way. At Lacht Bannin, after seven paternosters, seven aves, and a creed, the pilgrim must walk seven times round the Lacht and the higher they climb, the harder is the way and longer the station. For the young, the path is hard, for the aged, a trial. But one and all, the whole and the sick, upwards they climb. Faith guides their feet and sustains them. Two thousand five hundred and ten feet up at the summit, they walk where St. Patrick walked. Beyond doubt, they know this from the records. And here at Labafordrick is the second station. For newcomers aboard details the station to be performed. Here at the summit, St. Patrick fasted a whole Lent in the days when the lonely hill was known as the Mount of Eagles. And so to the oratory, the little shrine in the clouds. And here, where St. Patrick looked out over Ireland and prayed for her people, they find, born within themselves, something that will be with them always. <laughs> 